<laughs> Praise the Lord. Ratchet knock a hat here, a.k.a. Brother Lebedee Jr. Brother and sisters, we turn our Bibles to 1 John chapter 3. We've been looking at verse 3, and it reads, And every man that hath this hope in him purifies himself, even as he is pure. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord! Brothers and sisters, in 1 John chapter 3, we see the Apostle John make this mention about every believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who has their hope, and hope <clears throat> is a favorable, confident expectation of good. Everyone who has a hope in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ purifies themselves. Even as our Lord and Savior and soon to come in King Jesus Christ is pure. So when you have a favorable, confident expectation of good in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you're purifying yourself. Praise the Lord. Even as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is pure. Praise the Lord. You know, in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse, um, verse, let's see, Jeremiah chapter 17, Jeremiah chapter 17, in, in, in Jeremiah chapter 17, we see that uh, Jeremiah, who's, who, who's a, 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 a grace preacher of the Old Testament, he mentions in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse, Verse 9, I believe, he says that blessed is the man that trusts the Lord and his hope is in the Lord. And so we see that Jeremiah is reminding the reader that when you're blessed when you trust the Lord and that your hope is in the Lord. The capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Then we also see in um, Titus chapter 2, the Apostle Paul mentions how, how in, in verse 13, uh, how um, looking towards that blessed hope and that glorious appearing of a great God and our Savior and soon coming King Jesus Christ. And then we see also in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, the apostle Peter, he mentions, he says, Blessed is the God and the Father of our Lord and Savior and soon coming King Jesus Christ, who has abundance of mercy and was given to us as we were begotten of him again. When we were born again, when we believed on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Watch this has given us a lively hope through the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the dead. And so when you trust in the Lord, like Jeremiah said in, in chapter 17 of his book, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and his hope is in the Lord. And when you know what uh, the apostle Paul mentions in Titus chapter 2, how you, 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 you're looking forward to the, that blessed hope and, and, and the great glorious appearance of our great God and our great Savior, Jesus Christ. And when you are born again by believing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and you're blessed, and watch this, you are given a lively hope by the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you do that, you are purifying yourself. You are resuscitating yourself. You are rejuvenating yourself. You are perfecting yourself. Because why? Because you are, you're, 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 every man that does that purifies himself in the Lord. Even as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is pure. 
And so when you put your mind on those uh, those truths that and you trust the Lord, you're looking forward to the glorious appearance of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. And because you were born again and believed on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you have that life and hope through the resurrection of his Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the dead. You are purifying yourself. God is glorified. You are purified. And praise the Lord. The kingdom of darkness is nullified. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his constant to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified. In the precious name of the Son of the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And after him that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, mercy, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> <laughs> the favorable, confident expectation of God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When you think on that, you are purifying yourself. <laughs> God bless you. God be love. <laughs>